four young gay men, drugged, assaulted and murdered by a serial killer. Stephen Port was free to kill again and again and again because of a calamitous litany of failures by the Met Police who didn't think the deaths were suspicious. Now a damning new report warns it could happen again. His Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary found a number of areas where the Met failed eight years ago and have kept on failing in the investigations of sudden deaths, from not enough training for the junior officers who get called out, a lack of supervision over those officers, unacceptable record-keeping, and even a reliance on luck to identify links between deaths at a local level. If they get the basics wrong right at the start, the chances of categorising the death wrongly uh, and therefore the danger of something like Stephen Port happened again goes up. Missing a, another serial killer? It's entirely possible. This report is clear that three of Stephen Port's four victims didn't have to die if officers had only done the basics of police work from the beginning. Instead, he kept on killing in the same way, even leaving two of the bodies in the same location at this graveyard here in Barking. But the police didn't connect the dots and failed for far too long to realise they were dealing with a serial killer. Jack was very loving, caring, life and soul of our family, life and soul of everything. And, yeah, everyone just misses him dearly. Jenny and Donna's brother Jack was Port's final victim. We've not been able to grieve for Jack because all we've ever done is have to fight, fight, fight. And we're still fighting to this day for a public inquiry. We're still fighting for justice. We're still fighting for somebody to stand up and, and show accountability. The Met Police say the deaths of Anthony Wargate, Gabrielle Cavari, Daniel Whitworth and Jack Taylor were a tragedy and we're sincerely sorry we failed them and their families. While as the inspection report acknowledges, we have worked hard since the murders to understand what went wrong and improve how we work, it highlights more we need to do. The victims' families were told in the inquest two years ago that police mistakes probably led to their loved ones' deaths. But this latest report brings home the agony of knowing how little has changed in the last eight awful years. And they must be wondering how many more murders could have been missed in that time. Rachel Venables, Sky News.